Once upon a time, an old lion lived in a forest. He had grown very old. He was too weak to hunt anymore. And he needed someone to do it for him. One day, he spotted a jackal passing by. The lion had an idea. Hey, jackal! The lion called out. I'm old and cannot hunt anymore. I need a prime minister to bring me food. Will you help me? The jackal stopped to think for a moment. He realized that if he helped the lion, he would always have food. If you cannot hunt, I will do it for you. The jackal replied. But you must promise to share the food with me. The lion eagerly agreed. The jackal went looking for prey. It sighted a donkey grazing in the field. Ah! thought the jackal. This donkey is a suitable candidate for the lion's food. He went up to the donkey. Here you are. I have been looking for you for a long time. The king of the forest wants to make you his prime minister. So come with me right away. Oh, I agree, said the donkey, excitedly. It's an honor to serve the king. Let's go. So the jackal led the donkey to the lion. As soon as the lion saw the donkey come near, it jumped on him. But the fearful donkey was already on his guard. He quickly jumped aside and ran away. The jackal started cursing the lion for his haste and went back to bring the donkey. You fool! Why did you run away? The king had only wanted to embrace you. I thought he was jumping on me. To kill me. Replied the donkey sheepishly. This time, don't run away. When the king comes forward to embrace you. Said the jackal. Before the jackal led the donkey to the lion for the second time, he decided to advise the lion. Your Majesty, the jackal said cautiously, it is wise not to rush in attacking the donkey again. The lion looked puzzled. Why? I need to eat. I'm hungry. The jackal nodded and said, Indeed, Your Majesty. But remember, the donkey may not be as simple-minded as he appears. Let him believe in your intentions first. The lion asked. What do you suggest? Convince him that you need a prime minister. 
And he is the perfect candidate. The jackal suggested. Wait until he drops his guard completely. Then attack. The lion agreed. Very well. I will proceed as you suggest. As the jackal led the donkey towards the lion, the old lion greeted them warmly. Welcome, my new prime minister. The lion said kindly. I have been looking for someone to help me manage my kingdom. You seem perfect for the job. The donkey felt honored and nodded eagerly. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm ready to serve. The jackal smiled that his plan was working smoothly. Your Majesty, he added respectfully. The kingdom will surely benefit from the donkey's wisdom and loyalty. The lion nodded in agreement. Let's prepare for your new role. He said to the donkey. This time, the lion was not hasty. One day, when they were alone, the lion saw his chance. Dear Prime Minister, the lion said calmly, "We need to discuss something important." The donkey approached, unaware of the danger. The lion pounced swiftly, his claws tearing into the donkey's flesh. Startled, the donkey tried to defend himself, but it was too late. The donkey died instantly. The lion gave a small portion to the jackal, and kept the rest for himself. You have taken a very large portion, Your Majesty," said the jackal. "This is called taking the lion's share. You fool," said the lion. Now I am going to take a bath. You stand guard, and take good care of the donkey. The lion has cheated me," thought the jackal. "I should get my proper share." So thinking, the jackal tore open the head of the donkey, and ate his brain. When the lion returned, he was very surprised to find the brain missing. Who has eaten the donkey's brain? Roared the lion. Your Majesty, the donkey has no brain. If it had, he would have been cleverer. Replied the cunning jackal. The lion was satisfied with this answer. Moral: Cleverness can secure benefits, but greed and dishonesty often lead to trouble.